hello everyone welcome back to evie's queen i hope you guys are doing great thank you for subscribing to our channel and thank you for supporting us and be sure to check out the other videos we made we made 700 videos up until now so be sure to check out though we make videos about chinese electric cars and electric cars all over the world basically The next generation of affordable electric cars by Hyundai and Kia will be powered by the same batteries that Tesla uses for standard range Model 3 and Model Y. The cheaper LFP packs will be delivered by CATL in a first for Hyundai. Hyundai has so far only used performance electric batteries with that with cop copious amounts of expensive metals like nickel and cobalt for electric vehicles like the Ionic 6 or the Kia EV6. Last summer, it hinted at the development of a mass market electric car that it will have the price of the Ionic 5 at the time or in the 20,000 US dollar to 25,000 US dollar range. This will make a direct competitor to the upcoming Model 2, and just like Tesla's cheaper and smaller EV, it may use LFP batteries in a structural cell to pack module to reach the cost. Korean media is reporting that Hyundai has signed a deal with the world's biggest EV battery maker for delivery of its affordable LFP batteries, the same ones that Tesla uses in the base Model 3 and Model Y. The LFP batteries will offer lower energy density than the high nickel ones but can charge to a higher level with less deterioration and are much cheaper to make since they use the abandoned iron phosphate. The ATL is the world's largest battery maker precisely because it ships copious amount of those of Tesla and others, and is working on the next generation of the phosphate battery tech with increased energy density Hyundai may install its first LFP batteries in the upcoming 2023 Kia Ray EV upgrade that is due to launch later this year. With a brand new design instead of its premium 800V E GMP platform, the Ray will be based on BorgWarner's IDM146 drivetrain that operates at the half the voltage and has a peak power of 135 kilowatt. This will further cut down on its production costs. So the second ray generation may turn out to be one of the cheapest electric cars launched this year. CATL just re reported record earning and, and is reportedly ready to induce an EV battery price war armed with the proceeds as it is losing market share to be the whose LFP packs may also find their way into Tesla vehicles soon. In any case, EV makers are preparing to usher in a stage of mass electrification with more compact and way more affordable models and apparently Hyundai doesn't want to be left behind in the next phase of the electrification race. That is it for today. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.